knowing him as I know him, and he's one of the greatest men I've ever met in my life, and my best friend, and great father to my children. I just thought, I don't understand in this day and age how people can make salacious lies up, and how the media actually then write about it, and then follow on with it, because I just don't understand. This is defamation of character of a person that is the opposite of how he's being portrayed. So uh, Buckingham Palace put out a denial, and on his behalf. On his behalf, and that's how it works within the royal family. And, and they stand by that denial. There is no more, there's nothing more to be said. And I think it is just, uh, it is just shockingly accusatory lies, which I won't stand by. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, she's defending her ex-husband, and she's talking about the accusations against Prince Andrew uh, with regard to the Jeffrey Epstein affair, the billionaire in Florida who allegedly had underage uh, girls pre uh, presented to Prince Andrew, among others. Joining us now is Dickie Arbiter. He is royal commentator, former press secretary to Queen Elizabeth II, and author of a just a, a, such a revealing, wonderful book, On Duty with the Queen, my time as a Buckingham Palace press secretary. Uh, Dickie, I, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to talk to you, sir. Well, thank you for inviting me. Well, my pleasure. All right, what's your response to, to uh, these accusations against Prince Andrew? Well, Buckingham Palace have strenuously denied the, uh, and, and they are allegations. And let's not forget they are allegations. I believe, actually, they're allegations by association. Uh, the man, rather stupidly, um, was seen in Central Park in 2011, walking alongside Jeffrey Epstein, so shortly after he had come out of jail, having served 13 months on a charge of, um, of being a paedophile. And that, that was a pretty stupid thing to do. But I believe these charges are, are they're alleged, and they are by association. And I don't believe there's any foundation for them. Okay, so you just, you just, uh, you don't, you dispute the fact that, uh... Uh, that he, you know, uh, that the accusations that he was uh, down there with uh, F Epstein many, many times, and 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 uh, the specific charges from Virginia Roberts, who's now 30, that says uh, when she was 17, she was a sex slave to Epstein, and she uh, claims that uh, you know she bathed with Prince Andrew in a London townhouse, and, and then had sex with him following a night of dancing. Again, you you believe that these are all just uh, made up, as as uh, uh, as uh, you indicated. Well, you made the point just now. He's making claims that this happened, and it's a, it's a sort of one accusing the other and the other one fending against the other. And I think we've got to see hard evidence of this. Maybe they did meet in London. Um, maybe they did meet elsewhere. Yes, he certainly went away, and that was well recorded in photographs in our newspapers, maybe in your newspapers. Um, he had gone away with Jeffrey Epstein. Again, I reiterate that these are allegations, I think and believe quite strongly, by association and by nothing more. Right. And I just want to clear up, uh, uh, Mr. Arbiter, when you say maybe they did meet in London and maybe they did meet in other places, you're referring to Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew or the girl? Well, uh, if he was with Jeffrey Epstein, then maybe the girls were there in the same company. Um, you don't know. I don't know. It's her word against uh, right. um, Prince Andrew. Right. What is the role of? Uh, she, uh, we heard from the uh, from, from uh, uh, in the soundbite that we played that uh, you know Buckingham Palace puts out a statement and then that's it. Do you foresee that there will be more statements coming from the prince, his spokespeople, the queen, her spokespeople, or the royal family at all? Well, the spokespeople are, are one, and that's that's the Buckingham Palace press office. I think they've said all they're going to say. Uh, Prince Andrew has obviously been in negotiation with his legal people. They um, have uh, ticked all the boxes. They have presumably got categorical denials from him that he was in underage sex. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put out the, the statement. There has been no complaint, and I do emphasize, there has been no complaint to Scotland Yard, to... to our police force here. And if there's no complaint, there's nothing to investigate. If there is a complaint, then our police will investigate that complaint. But so far, there has been nothing. Let me just ask you, on a scale of 1 to 10, how big a deal is this for the royal family, do you believe? From a public relations point of view, a legal point of view, everything encompassed in one. Well, the royal family is pretty big. I mean, you know, let me, let me say... If, if there's an accusation against a member 
of your president's family, is it a reflection on the president? No, it isn't. You cannot hold the president for account for what happens in the rest of his family. And you cannot hold the queen to account for what happens with her second eldest son. So it really is an issue between Prince Andrew and his accusers uh, with his legal team fighting right. on his behalf. And the rest of the family is not involved. Dickie Arbiter and folks, again, the book, if you, wanna, if you can only imagine what it's like to be a press secretary for the Queen of England, uh, the book is On Duty with the Queen, My Time as a Buckingham Palace Press Secretary, a great read. Dickie Arbiter, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. My pleasure. John Sununu is next, folks. Don't go away.